All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the SEC requires crypto exchanges to expose their customers' assets. And not so good news coming from CryptoSlate.com. Yesterday, the SEC said crypto platforms should treat customer holdings in custody as their own assets and include them in their balance sheets. This year, a crackdown on digital assets has been at the top of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission's SEC plan. This was made clear by the SEC Chair Jerry Gensler in January when he said, if the trading platforms don't come into the regulated space, it'd be another year of public being vulnerable. Now, remember, we talk about this a lot on this show. What is it? What is this that is happening right now? What? Why is it? why are they utilizing that term public being vulnerable? Well, if we take a look at the case of basically how you obtain control over the public, especially in different spaces where you want control, the first step to go ahead and do there is to get the public scared. And if you can get the public scared, then you come in and say, okay, we're going to protect you from this. So what you're going to see is a lot of rhetoric surrounding protecting the individual when in fact the idea is at the end of the day to remove the financial autonomy and the rights of the individual. So don't get swayed by these types of of arguments and be very careful and keep a, a close eye when these are being utilized. Since then, the SEC has used its agencies exclusively to obtain information and run investigations on crypto exchanges. Yesterday, it took another step towards its goal. It obliged crypto trading companies to consider all assets they hold for their customers as their own capital, including them on their balance sheets. In addition to the fiat currencies, the nature and amount of crypto assets held for customers will also be disclosed in the detail. What should you learn here? All right, what should you learn here if we're gonna be talking about them essentially having the exchanges included on their balance sheet? What does that mean? I mean, at the end of the day, the government doesn't consider you in control of that asset. So what do you need to do? You need to take that off of the public exchanges because basically they're telling you right here that it is not yours, not your keys, not your crypto. And the SEC agrees. Okay. That's just, it's very clear here what is going on. The new rule will be effective as of June and apply to all publicly listed crypto trading companies. Currently, crypto trading companies record and disclose the digital assets they hold in custody on behalf of their customers separately. This system is also used by brokerages as well. The new requirement will separate crypto exchanges from brokerages and significantly enlarge the exchange's balance sheet as of June. For example, while Coinbase listed $21.3 billion US dollars in assets and liabilities in last year's balance sheet, it also said it had 278 billion US dollars in cryptocurrency and currency in customer custody. This is pretty all is pretty scary. Uh, excuse me. This is also pretty scary because we are talking about the separation of cryptocurrency from traditional stock markets. It can kind of be good from the perspective of separating those two. However, the reason that's being done is because it's more tightly controlled and definitely more manipulated by people in charge in the stock market, and they want to be able to control and regulate exchanges, especially crypto exchanges is what I mean, uh, a lot more tightly here because, well, what we're seeing is a battle for control over this market. According to the announcement, the SEC is worried about the negative impact of technological, legal, and regulatory risks of cryptocurrency on their operations. The announcement states, quote, the obligations associated with these arrangements involve unique risks and uncertainties not present in arrangements to safeguard assets that are not crypto assets, including technological, legal, and regulatory risks and uncertainties. Technological risks include the safeguarding of assets and third parties who may be affected by the high volatility of crypto assets. Legal risks refer to the lack of precedent on how crypto custody would be dealt with in court. On the other hand, regulatory risks are about having a few regulatory requirements for holding crypto. At the same time, the exchange companies may not comply with the new regulations that exist, which increases the risk to investors. 
With the new rule, the SEC hopes to expose more data on crypto exchanges to help investors with their allocation decisions. The ruling says, quote, the staff believes that the recognition, measurement, and disclosure of guidance in this statement will enhance the information received by investors and other users of financial statements about these risks, thereby assisting them in making investment and other capital allocation decisions. Look, you don't know what you're doing. We know what to do. So just listen to us, okay? That's what they're telling you. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.